shock and a lot of exciting developments in the fight against the coronavirus. Can you explain that to us? Uh, sure, I can. Uh, Arcturus is a RNA medicines company, which means that we're well positioned to to develop a COVID-19 vaccine that can potentially be safe and effective. There's a lot of different types of vaccines out there, uh, but the messenger RNA vaccines are gaining a lot of momentum and attention uh, for a variety of reasons. And so this vaccine, which of course uh, you have in the works, which is an exciting development. I mean, there's talk of uh, several companies out trying to, I know all the companies are working together, right? We're in this together, but it's not a, it's not a fast fix, right? No, in order to, to, to evaluate a vaccine in the clinic and human trials, and then to subsequently gain approval to distribute this to the public, that process is, is not a quick one. But of course, there's several companies, including Arcturus, that is trying to get to that finish line as soon as possible. So the technology that you have, the research and development that you've done, um, is showing at least in part to have a single vaccine versus a vaccine plus a booster. Um, tell us the intricacies of this, because I'm not sure that I even fully understand it. Sure. So, so all of these vaccines are in the business of making uh, the spike protein. Um, if you look at an image of the coronavirus, if you go to Google Images right now and look at an image of a coronavirus, you'll see these little spikes on the surface of the vaccine. Uh, all of these vaccine companies, or at least the majority of them, are making that S protein, the spike protein. It's also called the S antigen. And if you can make that and have the body exposed to it, then the body can generate the, the desired immune response and build up those antibodies that uh, will protect you from getting infected by the coronavirus. Now, what, how our vaccine differentiates from the others is that it's extraordinarily low dose. Um, very, very tiny amounts of it can build a, a substantial amount of this spike protein, which is what we're trying to do in, in order to generate the desired immune response and protect the, the individual from the coronavirus. So our vaccine, again, is differentiated in that the dose is extraordinarily low. And if you combine that with the, the ability to manufacture this vaccine, it's easy and readily, uh, we're, we're easily uh, um, uh, able to make a large amount of it, then we can impact a large population of people with a single batch of, of the vaccine. You have a better look into the future than the rest of us because you're fully immersed in the scientific side of this. Do you think that by next year everybody will be getting a vaccine or do you think by next year we'll still be facing a global crisis? What is your outlook? Well, the, the coronavirus is looking more and more like it could be a seasonal vaccine, which means that it could come back potentially again in the fall and again in, in 2021. So ultimately, this is going to have to be addressed by a vaccine, and uh, several companies are engaged in that effort. So yes, this is an ongoing effort with a lot of companies. So countries are now in the process of making decisions on to, as to which of these vaccines they need to stockpile. Because you need to have these vaccines manufactured, in place, ready to distribute as soon as they are approved by a regulatory agency. So you have multiple companies. What do you think? If, yeah, mm -hmm. and, and, sorry, multiple companies, multiple countries, multiple regulatory agencies. And as to which regulatory agency will approve the vaccine first, that's yet to be determined. But as soon as that's done, then we can you know, initiate the process of distributing the vaccines. Uh, can you give us a glimpse into what you think the success rate will be for your work that you're doing? Are you pretty sure your vaccine is gonna to come together? Yes, I, I, um, we're very confident in our technology. Uh, Arcturus is, been involved in 10 collaborations with large pharmaceutical companies such as J&J you know, &J and, and Takeda and Ultragenics and several others. Uh, the, the, the collaboration we have with the government of Singapore and the Duke NUS 
a medical school is is very real. It's funded. Um, we're already uh, manufacturing the the vaccine and preparing for a clinical trial in Singapore. So. Uh, the likelihood of this succeeding is very high. And the reason I say that is because Arcturus has been evaluating our technology with multiple companies and multiple animal models with different types of pathogens. So the likelihood of this succeeding is, is very promising. So the key now, the attention is, is, is focusing on getting the right amount of human data as efficiently as possible so we can determine that it works and that it's safe and then in parallel manufacture it so that we have a sufficient amount of, of the vaccine to distribute if and when it gets approved. I see. Joseph Payne, thank you so much.